Hi, I'm John Shuchuk, and I work on Active Directory. Active Directory is Microsoft's solution for identity and access. Active Directory is a technology that organizations can use to keep track of people, devices, applications, and it's a way for the organizations to make sure all of those pieces work together. Back when we were thinking about the next round of Active Directory, we spent a lot of time talking to our customers, particularly customers that had some big challenges. Oil companies are a great example of this. Whenever they go after an oil field or an energy project now, there's a lot of other partners involved. It might be companies like Schlumberger, it might be uh, wildcatters, it might be governments, and often they create new organizations, an LLC to go after these things. And the real question was, how do we bring all of those pieces together and provide an identity and access system to be able to operate across that. The previous generation of Active Directory had been really focused on a single organization with a single central authority for identity. And really what we needed to do was generalize that. We also needed to be able to work with new emerging consumer identities, such as Microsoft accounts or Google accounts. Um, and we knew that the way we were going to describe identity and access needed to become more, much more flexible in these worlds because no longer was it just about the things that were going on inside of my company. So with Windows Server, we have provided new advanced dynamic access capabilities, improvements around direct access, and those capabilities are the keys that are enabling people to go after these new kinds of scenarios. Gone is that safe perimeter that people used to hide behind. They used to be able to put a firewall and kind of know that's it. Nothing's going in and out of that firewall, but that's all gone. Wi-Fi, uh, mobile workers, partners, they're all on your network. And so suddenly identity has become the key that you've got to use to decide what applications and what data you're able to get to. What people have done is they've They've used the new capabilities in Windows Server to start creating new kinds of dynamic access control. And what we mean by that is they're able to construct policy that is more sophisticated than just the simple yes or no answer, is this person allowed to access this data? Because think about it, if, if I'm a vice president and I've got access to some very sensitive data, well, I might only want to allow people to access that data when they're on a corporate network, on a machine that they've checked and is sure is running the right kind of software. If I happen to be mobile, if I'm in some part of the world where I'm using an airport kiosk, I probably don't want to enable that access. And that's a very different kind of dynamic where we want to apply policy to make that decision. One way people can get Active Directory is they can get Windows Server, it comes with Windows Server and you can set it up. One of the big changes with Windows Server is we've made it very easy to take that technology and run it in the new cloud data centers or in data centers inside your organization. We've also packaged up all that great technology as a service. One of the things that we started to hear from customers all over the world was, hey, this is changing. The, the firewalls are starting to disappear, the mobile devices are coming in, the need to partner across organizations is increasing. And we heard this everywhere. We heard this in the financial sector. We heard this in government consortiums. And a lot of this was being ushered in by the connectivity that the internet brings. At the same time all this was going on, other customers were starting to use applications like Salesforce, or they were using cloud-based applications and they needed to be able to connect to those things. And so identity and access in that world is really the only thing that's left to stitch it all together. Because there is no firewall in this world, there's no single organization that can look over everything. It's really gotta be a lot of different identity and access solutions working together to give people the safety and security that they need in this new world. I think the cloud's a pretty exciting place and taking a look at what we've done around making identity a service that you can use inside your organization, how that just can really make everything a lot easier. Those are some key things to think about moving forward. Lindsay's Aviation is a 
ground handling business. We're growing very rapidly. We run in over 130 airports around the world in 30 different countries 24-7. Security is very important to us and the ability to identify who is accessing our data is extremely important and Windows Server 2012 gives us the facilities to enable us to manage that. Once we fully sit on a Windows Server 2012 AD structure, there's advantages. With Hyper-V, we're going to be able to clone, replicate, snap all of those DC servers and keep them safe. If we have a failure, we can bring them back online. If we have an accident on deleting a user account, we can recover that. We haven't got to source a third party tool to actually recover that for us. It saves us an expense. It's quite important to make sure that the right people get access to that data. Dynamic access control, that really does help us quite a lot in this. Let's say somebody from finance starts a new role here in Menzies. As soon as their information is entered into Active Directory, straight away they have access. The other elements with Active Directory which are going to be good is the grouping structures, the security permissions and everything else. We can control that much more, we can see what's going on in groups, we can manipulate the parts that we want to and we can just keep ourselves much, much safer.